Hi, I'm back again. I'm sorry it's been a while since we've done a video, but I wanted to do one on one of my favorite uh, teal in the world. This is a Baikal teal. It's a drake. Um, they come in color late in the in the year, and they don't really come into full color until uh, I would say May or June even. Uh, they're late nesters. They nest in um, the end of June. Well, right now it's uh, July 4th and we have our first nest, so they're just getting started. But these are named after the Baikal Lake in Siberia, which is where they nest. Um, they are um, a, a unique duck in many ways. Uh, one way in which they migrate in large uh, monospecific groups like uh, shorebirds migrate. And there's some excellent videos from South Korea, which is where they, they winter, uh, on how their formations go. It's much the same as blackbirds fly. Um, they nest late, and average nest is probably six to nine eggs. I have a nest here with nine eggs, and I think that's the largest we've ever had. Um, they're fairly easy duck to raise. Um, getting them to nest is sometimes the problem. Uh, beautiful little duck. Uh, we've got some other footage I think I'll tag on the end of this video. But uh, the, the uh, scientific name is Formosan teal, which means beautiful bird. Um, and they are probably the most colorful teal in the world, I would say. Uh, very quiet duck. The Russians call them the clucking duck because the drakes make a clucking sound. That's kind of unique. Um, I don't want to hold him too long, um, but I wanted you to be able to see him up close. This is a breeding male. Beautiful bird. Baikal's nest in uh, Siberia, uh, Japan, in China, where they're heavily hunted. They were uh, popular or populous species, the most popular species of teal in the world until the 1990s. Now they're considered a threatened species. And they're particularly vulnerable because they winter in these giant flocks in South Korea and they're particularly vulnerable to um, diseases like uh, the bird flu that you've heard about and other problems, botulism, etc. Um, I wanted to also mention, um, give you a big thanks out. We have now 500 subscribers, which just blows my mind. Thank you for subscribing and uh, we'll try to get more videos out here soon that are informative on wild species. Um, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.